What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel Pines Trees A 21 and over medical cannabis review channel out of the state of Pennsylvania. How's everybody doing? Notice a change? Notice anything new? If you're new here, probably not, but if you've been a long time subscriber, welcome to the new studio. What do you guys think? We got some new stuff. Uh, gave the old studio a little bit of a paint job we got some nice new things to make it look a little more professional in here um, got some new lighting got some new equipment obviously got some display cabinets um, but yeah we're up in our game we're gonna uh, bring it to the next level so if you're not a subscriber and you like what you see do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you like the videos hit the thumbs up and as always if you have any questions if you want to ask me anything if you want to tell me anything hit me in the comments section I always respond pretty quick and it gets pretty wild in the comment section. We got a pretty good, uh, pretty good community of people who like to speak up and talk in the comment section. So, without any further ado, today, because one of my subscribers actually requested it, told you I was going to get around to it. Told you it was going to be the next video, bro. Going to review the Kind Pen Wheezy. This was actually a gift from a friend of mine recently and um i showed it on a video last week and one of the homies was like hey i actually just bought that for my wife for christmas so if you could kindly do that review it would help me know whether or not you know i bought her a nice christmas present so this one's for you bro um happy to accommodate uh happy that somebody else has a thing that i have because i don't know much about this it was a gift from a really good friend and hopefully you know it's a ripper so let's get into it i already already charged it up uh we're not gonna call this the review we're gonna call this the unboxing uh first tokes so to speak that type of thing um so to power it on off five times like most ancillary equipment we've come to a point in our lives where we've reached a industry standard five times is on and off uh i'm gonna take a wild guess and say three temperature settings yep um three clicks changes between the three settings so green 3.7 volt blue 4.2 red or no green 3.3 blue 3.7 red 4.2 if you push the button twice it'll heat up for 15 seconds they're calling that a sesh mode other companies call that a preheat whatever it's all the same uh, cool thing about this is it has a threadless pop-out atomizer So the atomizer comes out with the push of a button Which is really like that's the selling point for me not that I bought it But if I were looking at it to buy it the fact that the atomizers pop out really easy and You could like switch between two like you could have a bunch of different atomizers pre-packed keep them in like a bag somewhere and then if you one runs out you can just pop another one in you don't even screw them in it's just a button it pops in and out very sweet uh, the box came with a, a jar for you to put your concentrates in a USB a tool to scoop up dabs with and the device itself pretty cool looking um, magnetic top very strong very strong um, but yeah let's get into it you guys so yeah here we go up close and personal pretty nice looking little device button on the side button on the front charging port 
notice this this is pretty cool the mouthpiece has a nice little screen in it stop any hot oils from passing through getting into your mouth that is nice I've actually had that happen it is not fun it is not fun at all as far as the atomizer fully ceramic and here check it out push of a button pops out there's your atomizer nice small easy compact <clears throat> goes right in push it till it clicks right not bad not bad so I have some moxie slimer here got a really good deal really good 12 days of Christmas deal um, I got this gram of slimer that is normally you all know what the normal price is I don't have to tell you 95 bucks I got this on sale 12 oh, smells so freaking good uh, 12 days of Christmas sale um, yeah this was $50 for the whole gram not the half gram whole gram I've already been poking at it a bit already smoked out of it because I already did a Slimer review not too long ago I'm not gonna re-review something that I've done a review of not that long ago but also not gonna pass up a heck of a deal for a whole gram of moxie so here you go just so you can see not messing around we're gonna go in with a nice snot that way we get some some rippers and give this thing a, a fair shot very deep atomizer it's small but like it goes and goes and goes forever it's crazy got it on in there so personally when it comes to these types of things, I don't even bother with the low setting. That's for like tasting. Um, we're gonna go middle setting. Uh, I'm not gonna do the preheat. I'm just gonna rip it. Let you hear the sizzle. too big of a cloud tons and tons of flavor let's just hope that it was a uh, needed to heat up all right so those are baby clouds those are for people with problems with full bodied crazy hits. We're going in. We're going red. 4.7. Full blast in it. Here we go. Kind Pen Wheezy. That's what this thing's called. I don't know if I said that. Kind Pen Wheezy. Here we go. Full heat. Okay. A little bit better on red setting. Let's take a look. Still a whole lot of oil in there. Go ahead and pan you down. Maybe you can see it. Oh yeah. See 
all that oil. Just chilling in there. Nice little puddle of it. So. This keeps. Alright, so. I don't know what that means. Why does it keep blinking like that? Did I break it already? What does that mean? Where's the directions here? What do we got? What does this say? Charging, blah blah blah, nothing. What is that? It won't let me hit it now. What in the world? Alright. Did it get too hot? Did I wreck the atomizer that fast? Let's inspect. I assume this is hot as hell because it says do not touch on it. So we're just gonna try flipping it around. Nope. Still nothing. Um, shoot. Give it the old Nintendo blow in the disc. Let's see here. Oh, we got heat. Okay, so that was weird. Maybe I overheated it. So, even on the red setting, it's kind of got weak, weak little baby ribs. Compare that hit to like a Pax Pod. Them weak hitting Pax Pods. You know what I'm talking about. Not the Pax Era, the original. Kind of hits weak, but still gets you stoned. This is doing the same thing. We got her warmed up. She's starting to rip. That was a fat. That was a fat hit. Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. And we. <coughs> <coughs> considerably less oil <coughs> in the atomizer. Oh snap, it's doing it again. Okay, so. I'm thinking this is a function. I'm thinking this is to save it. I'm thinking after getting it as hot as I just got it, that it must have a like a, a little computer brain inside of itself that says that it's too hot right now and it shouldn't watch. Because I'm going to take this out. Actually, maybe that. That might as well pop out. Alright, so let's take this out of here. I'm blowing it. I'm gonna give it the old Nintendo. I think maybe what it is here is she just don't like getting hot. Very weird. Maybe flip the 
this around. Try it this way. I see this atomizer thing becoming a problem. It does not like to stay clicked in there. Still nothing. So, the Kind Pen Wheezy might be problematic. Um, homie that bought it for his wife for Christmas. I don't know if I would recommend Kind Pen Wheezy. I mean, honestly. If it's a matter of because it's getting too hot, because I'm roasting on it, if your wife doesn't take consistent hits like I do, wow, I can't get, okay, there it goes. All right, so there we go, we blew in it again. It's back to running. See that? It must be a heat problem. It must be overheating this thing. crazy thing is in order to get a, neat, a nice rip off of it you kind of have to get it to the point of overheating it there we go I mean when it's working it works, but like that whole blink and white thing, overheating, I guess that's good. It's protecting itself from probably getting damaged from the heat, but kind of problematic if you're trying to medicate. See, we're back at it again. I'd say about four, three, what was that? It's like two or three hits in a row on red setting and you're gonna be in the danger zone. You're gonna have to blow on it, but we're pretty much out of oil anyway. Here we go. Check it out. Very much less oil in there. Much less. Definitely burned it up. <clears throat> Not too bad. But then you got that problem. So we're going to call this an unboxing. Uh, I might actually reach out to the people at Kind Pen and ask them what the white blinking light is about. And if it's because I am beasting on it a little too much and it got too hot it doesn't feel hot physically to the touch like I can hold this it's not super hot so but it says it is <clears throat> so I don't know I'm gonna hold off on whether or not I would recommend buying this or not because of the obvious reasons um, That being said, it rips, <clears throat> it hits. Uh, the concept of a of an atomizer, let's see the, the atomizer already popped. The concept of a changeable atomizer that's just quick and easy, that's, that's a dope idea. If you could have like five of these pre-packed with the amounts that you wanted throughout your day, you could just interchange them. You could have different strains, different, you know, different effects for whatever you need them for but maybe like you know the version 2.0 might be a little bit better I might say if you were gonna see it's still blinking you would think after this amount of time it would have cooled off a little bit but uh <clears throat> I would say maybe hold off on buying the wheezy 
this one and wait and see if Kind Pen comes out with a Wheezy 2.0. Because usually something like this, they'll watch this video and they'll realize like, yep, the atomizer doesn't stay in there. When it gets warm, that shit just pops. So it's weird. My dog's freaking out. So I'm going to end it here. Um, if you like the videos, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up. And in the next video, we're going to do something fun. We're gonna do something, it's not gonna be a review, it's just gonna be a smoke sesh. I got some weird, some weird things. Uh, not weird, but just different. Um, I see on Instagram people doing like these combo dabs where they'll take shatter and then they'll like fold it into a little taco shell and then put sugar and sand and anything else they have inside of the taco shell and then dab it. I've also seen people roll out shatter and put sugar and sand inside of that and then roll it up like a joint or a blunt and dab it. Um, so we got some ice cream cake shatter, terrapin, cheap stuff because you know we're just having fun. Uh, we got that Gross Grandpa Stash G Leaf Rosin. This stuff is bad on flavor. Maybe a taco will make it taste better. Uh, we have Slimer, live resin. This shit is banging. Hopefully, this makes everything taste good. And to top it all off, a little bit of a little bit of that special sauce on top. We got something I've never even seen before. I got standard farm yeah I know standard farms gross but bear with me it's just terps it's a terp applicator so a little a little bit of hot sauce that we're gonna drizzle in our taco it's gonna be blueberry terps from standard farm I'm not even gonna say more than this this is all I'm gonna say Beta Mercine, 19.277%. That's just Mercine. There's one, two, three, four, five, six other Terps other than that in this syringe. We got 19.277% Beta Mercine. Blueberry Terp Syringe. So, be looking out for my next video. It's not going to be super serious. It's not going to be a review. It's not going to be a box opening. It's just going to be a smoke sesh. We're going to smoke these all by themselves. Then we're going to smoke them all together. Who knows? Maybe we'll just, you know, get crazy. <clears throat> I don't know. But I'm really excited for this. Blueberry Terp syringe applicator we got shatter i haven't had shatter in a minute i already dabbed this it's got good flavor i don't know how i don't know why i don't know what's going on here but caryophyllene 1.197 percent limonene 0.5 for some reason ice cream cake shatter real good on flavor you know the G-Leaf's gonna come through and screw it all up for us probably and probably make the whole thing taste like poop. But I'm hoping Moxie Slimer knocks that poop flavor out and kinda comes through in the end with just a just a W. We're going for that big Wu Tang W, bro. We're getting it. This one's for for all the all the OGs, all the subs that have been in it since day one. <clears throat> I know y'all are getting bored. Let's do something crazy. So be on the lookout for that. And obviously be on the lookout for the new studio. Um, I also have new glass in the case that I'm gonna review. I got a really cool banger. Um, or no, not a banger. A really cool carb cap made by this dude, Tommy Salami. It's gonna blow your minds. Uh, we got Baby Yoda smoking on the peak in the back. I don't know. 
I don't know where he came from. A little, little, the child action back there. I can't even say his name. I'm, I'm addicted to watching Mando, but I can never remember that dude's name. So, we got new stuff. We got new setup. We got all the craziness. Stay tuned for just a new year of great things to come. And hopefully we can get back to normal. Start session with people. Where you at, Drew? You coming to my house? You gonna smoke? I got you your own rig and your own e-nail, bro. We don't even have to smoke off the same shit. You just come hang out. We'll talk cannabis on camera. Till then, peace.